Vampire Survivors by Ponkel took the PC gaming world by storm on its initial release back in late 2021, and now that it's finally come to PlayStation, I want to shout it out. But also, it's so compelling that I just had to work really hard to drag myself away from it in order to make this video. Let's break it down. At its core, it's a pixelated survival action game as you try to stay alive for a certain amount of time in various monster-filled worlds, while collecting orbs and upgrading your weapons and abilities. So far, that might not sound so unique, but what makes it so potentially interesting, compelling and also accessible is that there's no button presses whatsoever in the core gameplay. You simply just move using the D-pad or an analogue stick and then your character attacks automatically. When you hear that, you might think, well, it's not much of a game then, is it? But really, it works so well that you do find yourself coming up with new strategies regularly depending on your loadout and the enemies that spawn, and there really are so many different types of weapons and perks available which all feel different, and you are continually unlocking new ones. And always unlocking new things and seeing new variants keeps you coming back time and time again to do one more run. What initially might seem like a very simple or even silly concept ultimately turns into one of the best value and most compelling experiences that a person can currently have for just £4. Even when the game maybe starts to feel a bit tedious and you start to think, what am I even doing here? I'm just standing still and everything's dying? There are so many different challenge modes, unique characters to play as, and also a plethora of cheap but content-rich DLC packs that you can get for a total of about another £5, meaning that all in all, you have hundreds of hours of compelling gameplay for under a tenner. It's madness. We've not even mentioned the art yet, and as you can see, it's a nod to classics from yesteryear and executed beautifully. Everyone will have a different opinion, of course, but I found myself drawn in by the charm, while all the animations are smooth, and even when there are thousands of things all on the screen moving at once, there's no performance issues. It's a perfect blend of retro aesthetics alongside modern gameplay and technology. The soundtrack's pretty solid and very modern with retro vibes akin to games like Shovel Knight, and it keeps your energy levels high. Although with the nature of the game being what it is, honestly, it's an ideal experience to stick on a podcast or something too in the background after you have played it for a while and heard it all before. Each level also lasts for around half an hour when completed properly, and that amount of time spent also makes you feel like you've been on a proper little adventure each and every time. It's been fascinating to see vampire survivors take the world by storm, and I remember a couple of years ago when it even inspired some no-button shooters that were made by the Dreams community. That was awesome to see. I'm very curious what the future holds for the genre, and even for this franchise, but in the meantime, I'd recommend vampire survivors as a must-play for any video game connoisseur, and especially those who like fast-paced action and strategic gameplay with a retro edge. It's easy to pick up and play, but it offers enough depth to keep you coming back whether you're a seasoned gamer or just looking to pass some time. Go on, be a vampire survivor today. Vampire Survivors by Ponkel took the PC world by... Mm, PC world, yeah.